Good morning, you guys. It's early, so you already know what's up. I'm going to work, but welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time. My name is Amanda, and today is another flight attendant vlog, you guys. Um, I figured I would take you on this trip with me because it's a short one, and y'all know if I'm going to take you, it's going to be a two-day trip, so it just makes it easier. Uh, so today, we have two flights, one working flight, a deadhead flight, and then we are overnighting in Wichita, is that Kansas, y'all? Wichita? Child, I don't know. I ain't never been there before, but we're in Wichita tonight. Um, it's a long overnight. I think I'm going to wind up having like 19 hours, which is, you know, that's long overnight for us. Well, for me, that's long overnight. Um, and I looked up the hotel on a map, and I think it's along like this river walking, running, biking path. It's like right along this path, which is perfect because I need to run. Um, because I've made a commitment to myself to run at least four times a week every week so I need to run today so this is perfect we get in early I think we're there by like 10 10 30 in the morning so it's a short day so I'm just getting uh, the rest of my stuff together right now I'm pretty much done I need to take my garbage down before I head out I already took my recycling down uh, it's going to be a long week. After this two-day trip, I come back, and then I go out this next day on a three-day trip. So, it's Monday. So, I'm working Monday through Friday this week. I actually worked Monday through Friday last week, too. I don't know how that happened, but I guess I got a 9 to 5 Monday through Friday job now. I made it to the hotel, you guys. That was, like, a really easy day. We had one working flight, and then we deadheaded to... Wichita so let me show you guys the hotel room so this is how it looks when you first walk in I have the bathroom nothing like too exciting but you know standard bathroom closet uh, stand up mirror and then king size bed, which is nice. Little TV, microwave, fridge setup. That is nice that they have that. Oh, desk setup. And then I haven't laid out the window yet. Okay. So this is the river. This I think this is what? Arkansas? I don't know. Arkansas River? It's a river. But they have a little path along this river that you can run down that way. And then there's bridges you can cross over and come back. So that's what I'm going to go do. It says it's like 70 degrees here, um, but it's a little breezy. Actually, it's a lot breezy. It's pretty windy. Uh, luckily, I brought. I did bring a coat to run in, so I think I should be good. So I'm pretty much just gonna get up, change my clothes, put my workout clothes on, and then head out before I lose my motivation. This hotel does have this thing they call like a kickback. I don't know, but it's pretty much they serve appetizers and drinks every night at like 5.30. So I wanna be able to go for a run, have time to come back, take a little nap, and then head downstairs for the food and drinks tonight. Cause y'all, any opportunity to not pay for food or alcohol, I'ma take it, I'ma take it. Okay, I'm dressed, I got my workout clothes on. I'm letting my phone charge up maybe like five more minutes because it's down to like 50%. And actually, I think it should be about 60 now. And I want to make sure I have a full charge for the whole time I'm out. Because when I'm done running, I think I might walk around the little town area they have over there. Uh, and get some lunch. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Got my workout leggings on. And my jacket. I think this should be warm enough. I'm hoping this should be warm enough. It is windy out here. It's also very brown here in Kansas. Very brown. Let me show y'all. The water is brown. The concrete's brown. The buildings are brown. It's very brown here. It was very um. It was very uneventful flying into Wichita, looking out the window, because everything was flat and brown. Nobody here on the streets. It always makes you feel. It makes me feel awkward sometimes, walking 
down the street alone, but it's pretty. This little river area is cute. I just wish there was more people out here than just me. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody here. I made it back okay so I'm not gonna lie my walk kind of turned in I mean my run turned into more of a walk because there was actually a lot of stuff to see along the river walk and I kept stopping and taking photos and whatnot so I wound up after a while just deciding to walk it and walk downtown got some food let me show you what I got so I was carrying it horribly and I lost a bunch of my beans into the bag which is but I got that taco and burrito combo with rice and beans and um, picked up a Coke Zero. And also when I went in that little candy shop, so I did, I wound up buying, I wound up buying the key lime popcorn. I'm save this obviously from when I go home, but I feel like this is a nice little snack. I hope it's tasty. I asked the lady that she said it tastes really good. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this food and then I'm going to chill out for a bit, watch a couple shows, and then um, I'm going to head down around 5.36 to the um, kickback they do downstairs to get the food and the free drinks. The free drink, you get three free drinks. So they give you this little like beverage card. So it's from 5.30 to 7. They have drinks and food. Um, yeah, and you get three. So I have to make sure I go down closer to 5.30 than 6 so I can actually get all three in before it's over. Y'all, so I'm so disappointed in that food. Um, I had really high hopes of it because when I walked into the restaurant, the wait staff were all Hispanic. So I was like, okay, this is going to be authentic. But that was the most blandest tasting Mexican food I have ever had. So I don't know who was in that kitchen cooking. But that was not, it was just bland. Like the meat, it had no flavor. The burrito was chicken and that was like the driest, blandest chicken inside that burrito. Ugh. So disappointed. Um, I guess the only positive thing is I'm no longer hungry. So that's good. But ugh, I think I'm going to lay here. I'm watching my girl. You guys watch um, Beatrice Caruso. She's on a journey to lose 100 pounds. I love her. She just has such a good personality. She's so like likable. Um, so I'm watching her new video and then I might take a nap y'all because I'm a little tired. I'm going down for food y'all. It's 5.48 right now. So perfect timing. Let me get my little voucher, my room key, so I don't get locked out. Um, what else do I need? Hopefully they have something good to eat down there. But let's go. So I'm back and I went down and got food. They had pasta, chicken tenders, salad, um, then also tomato soup. I got a margarita. The bartender was very nice. Um, he asked me if I just wanted to do a double so I don't have to go back down again. And I was like, yeah, that's that's perfect because 
I don't really want to go back down there again. Luckily, I was like one of the first group of people to get down there, so it's not busy. But I know in about another 20 minutes to half an hour, it's going to be packed down there. So, I got my food. I don't know how to say, y'all, but it's free. It's free. Uh, so, I'm going to eat this. Finish watching some shows. We have a super early report time tomorrow. I think our van time is 5.30 in the morning. I'm pretty sure that sounds about right. 5.30. So... I haven't actually napped. I plan on napping, but I've just been laying around watching TV. Um, so probably gonna go to bed early, but for now I'm eat this food, watch a new show, and just relax. Good morning, you guys. It is what time is it? It's 4:45 right now. My van time. Well, actually early. My van time is not until 5 a.m. So I still have 15 minutes. How I do that? And I actually got up late. How do I do that? Impressive. But yeah, if I'm talking weird, it's because I have my retainers in tonight right now because I was so lazy last night that I just fell asleep and I never put them in. So I decided to wear them for a couple hours this morning just to make sure my teeth don't move too much. But yeah, so I got 15 minutes. What am I gonna do? I guess I can go on Instagram, check my email. How are you ready so early? That's impressive. But yeah, it's go home day. Two flights today. We're in Wichita, so we fly Wichita to Chicago. I think we have like an hour and a half sit in Chicago, and then we fly Chicago back to LaGuardia. And I think we should be back to New York by like 12.30 or so, so we get done early, which is perfect because I need to run a couple errands on my way home. <laughs> And it's only half full, so this is good. So we made it to Chicago. Uh, first flight was pretty uneventful. It was only like 37 passengers. So I went and got some Starbucks. I didn't get coffee again because I got coffee this morning um, at Dunkin' at the airport this morning. So I just got a breakfast sandwich. This last flight is supposed to be full. I think it's completely full. Um, but now I think the cleaners, the cleaners haven't come yet. So I'm going to try and eat and chill out before they come because we get kicked off once they come on board. I didn't tell y'all. So last night was... I forgot that I should not be drinking, that alcohol upsets my stomach because after I drank that margarita, no, I was fine after. I went to bed fine. I woke up in the middle of the night sweating, in pain, stomach cramping up, gurgling, just nauseous. I haven't drank in so long that I completely forgot that I can't process alcohol anymore. And so I just need to give it up completely. There's really no point in drinking for me. It doesn't benefit my life in any way. It only just causes me like so much discomfort. And so it was a really bad night of sleeping. So I'm really looking forward to being home tonight, sleeping in my bed. I do head back out again um, first thing in the morning on another trip, three days. So at least we get back early enough today that I can actually like make dinner at home, relax, and like go to bed at a decent time. So that makes me happy. So for now, I'm just gonna eat my little sandwich and just chill out till the cleaners get here. And then one more flight and we home. Hey guys, so it's like, as you can tell, I'm not on the plane anymore. It's like hours later. It's like quite a few hours later. Um, I'm home. I've been home for a long time. I've taken a nap and everything. Uh, I didn't get to vlog the rest of my trip because the flight was full and there was like, 50 children on the flight and it was just a lot going on so by the time we landed I legit just ran off the plane and just came home as quickly as possible but yeah so thanks for hanging out with me on this little trip I know it was a little quick one a little two-dayer and like I said I head out again in the morning um on my next trip, it's funny though, cause I'm flying with the same captain that I just flew this uh, two day with. I'm actually flying with him this next trip, this three day. He's actually kind of fine y'all. So I was like, well, hello captain. But um, yeah, I thought that was funny that we're flying together the whole week, but three day trip. And then after this three day trip, um, I have four days off and I'm so looking forward to that. I'm so looking forward to it. 
but yeah that's it for now i'm just going to pretty much unpack my suitcase now repack it and maybe watch tv for another hour or so before sun goes down and it's time for me to go to bed so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead join the family and i will see you guys in my next video